Maybe she was there with another side Maybe. dude. Maybe. I'm getting you mixed up with him. Your side dude? How stupid am I? Come on. Hey, this is Amir. This is Diana. And you're watching Vegan Tucson. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here and you're interested in vegan food and all other vegan things, you're in the right place. Sit back, relax, grab yourself some rice rolls and enjoy this episode. We have yet another goodie. Today we are at Nam Vegan Express in Burnaby, BC. It's all vegan, it's Vietnamese food, and we haven't been here in years, years, years. I don't even really remember our first time anymore. I don't even think we've been here. We have! A... No memory. I think she's making it. It's kind of located in this mosh pit of other grocery stores and banks and stores and restaurants. And it's the only vegan spot there, so that's dope. They have a few tables. They're seating along the window, like a counter high top kind of idea. And you order at the till. You pay for it first. You just take a seat and they serve the food. We got rice rolls to start and the spicy lemongrass chicken and crispy noodles. Which one should we start with? Rice rolls. I wanted to try something different because usually we would have gone with spring rolls, but I thought, oh, let's go with this. It sounds pretty good. The rice rolls are steamed and stuffed with minced meat, and then it came with pork as well, and vegetables like bean sprouts, lettuce, like pickled daikon, and carrots, was And it? cucumbers. Yeah. What do you think? Did you like it? I did. It came with a side of vegan fish sauce that we poured over. I thought it was really good. I don't think I've ever had Vietnamese style rice rolls before. I quite liked it. And it was an appetizer, so I didn't think it would be like a big portion. But the thing itself, like I feel like it could have been a meal, like a dish on its own. It was really filling. I absolutely agree with you. I think it was huge. It could have definitely been a meal. And it was delicious. Everything went so well together. I wasn't expecting what I got. I was expecting it to be more like smaller. The pork that it came with was really good. The fish sauce sent it all home together. Loved it. One, One two, two, three. three. Boom, I'm going to five as well. Spicy lemongrass chicken. What do you think of this? When we ordered, we were asked how spicy we wanted it. And I said spicy. And it was pretty spicy. Not too spicy where it's not enjoyable, but I could definitely taste a kick. It came with bell peppers and vegan chicken in this lemongrass sauce. I thought it was really good as well. It came in both red and green bell peppers. The sauce was really good. It was spicy, but it was very comfortable spicy. It was delicious. The chicken was really good. I wonder what brand it is. I don't know, but it was really good. I approve. Shall we? One, two, three. Boom. Oh, give it a four. Why did you give it a four? I think there were too many bell peppers. Maybe it could have used some other vegetables like mushrooms or something like that. Mushrooms would have been good. Before we talk about the crispy chow mein noodles, let's talk about subscribing to this channel. If you like what you see, if you enjoy the content, do us a favor, press that subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And ring that bell so you won't miss any episodes. The last but not the least, the crispy chow mein. What do you think? You also had the option with these noodles of getting it pan fried or crispy, and I chose crispy because I like crispy noodles. When it came with like this massive high mound of crispy noodles, and underneath was a sauce, and on top of it was tofu and all sorts of vegetables. The noodles at the bottom absorbed the sauce, so they were a little bit softer, and I thought it was decent. What did you think? Well, when it first came out, it was almost like an art piece. It was like a statue. It looked beautiful. I was like, oh, I don't want to eat that. I want to display that. When we were ordering, Diana said crispy, but really, it didn't really click in for me. I, I just thought she's talking about the vegetables and the chicken on it, the tofu. 
But when it came, I was like, oh, they were talking about the noodles. Or the thing is, I don't really like crispy noodles. So she knows that too. So why she ordered that? It just goes to show her lack of respect for me. So... <laughs> like Diana said, the noodles at the bottom are a little bit more softer because of all the juices and the sauce. So it wasn't too bad at all. I enjoyed it. One, One two, two, three. I'll give it a four as well. Anyways, that's what we think. You guys go try it yourself. And as always, make sure to let us know what you think in the comments. Hey Dana, would you ever go back to Nam Vegan Express and dine again? The thing with this place, it's way out of the way for us. There's nothing really around that would bring us to this area, but it's like the only vegan place in this area. So it's definitely an option if you're in the neighborhood or you live around here. The food is quite good. The portions are large and there are a lot of other things on the menu that do look interesting. So, I mean, if we're in the area and we're looking for food, this would definitely be an option. Would you go back to Nam Vegan Express? I would absolutely go back again. I thought it was great. I liked it. Diana said there is not much in the area to bring us into the area, but I think Nam Vegan Express is enough to bring me here. So yes, I would definitely come back and I would try something else perhaps. Take a look at this episode on another restaurant that we've reviewed. I'm sure you'll appreciate our opinions. It's also Vietnamese. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching.